The sewing machine has been sitting up, so it's probably gummed up a little bit. It'll start sewing a little faster the more it's sewed on and loosen up all the oils and in there, in gunk. It will definitely sew better the more it's used. I shouldn't, I should keep this machine, but I already have another one, a 401A, so that's my reason for selling it. But these are considered the best sewing machines ever built. They are sturdy. And you do have to have this type of bobbin, and I'm afraid I don't know the number of the bobbin. Here, here they are. But you do have to have these. And I'm sure there's plenty of places online that you can get them. I'll send it with one bobbin. Ship it, I mean, with one bobbin. But I don't have many myself. So I need to hang on to the ones I have. And all these stitches are built in. You just set it. Push to where you want it to go and then push over here to where you want to go you push the coat in push and pull that knob and turn it I can't do it with one hand but um, that's how you do and then this is your needle position then this is your stitch length and reverse goes up for reverse and of course to wind your bobbin. It's real simple to thread. I can't thread it and hold this thing at the same time to show you how to thread it. I can't figure out where I can put this thing but let me see if I can try to show you. First thing you have to always remember is put your foot down before you thread. And then what you're going to do is you come over here. I always use this, a, a bobbin stand. So you get your thread in. You bring it through right here. Then you're going to bring it down. Let me see if I can get this out. Thing tangled up. A mess here now. Okay, now this is what you do. You come down through here, that pinches through. Just pinch it through with two fingers. Okay. Then you come down right here, if you can see where that's going, then you're going to bring it up right in there, go like that, catch it, see how it catches, when you do that, then you go right behind, did you see that, right behind. Sorry, like I said, it's hard for me to do do this with one hand. Okay, then you're going to run it through this little hole. There's a little hole over there. I'll put the camera down a minute while I do that. Okay, so now I have it pulled through like that. Then you're going to see how it moves. Then you're going to click it through there. And you're going to click it behind here. Behind there. This loop right here. You can see that. And then of course you thread your needle. I 
that's it. Then we get ready to sew. I didn't thread the needle, but once you thread it, then of course you put your threads at the back like this before you get ready to sew. Put your thread up under there, and off you go. And there's a lot of different uh, foot, feet attachments, foot attachments that you can get for this machine too. And they're not real expensive. So, that's about it. It's a really good machine. So is good. If you want something dependable. And another thing you might want to do is you can go to the Singer website and you can download the, the book to this machine. This is the 401A. And you can download the book for free. It's about, it's a lot of pages. I can't remember how many I have a copy. This is my copy right here, the 401A. So you can download it. It's really a good, it's got a lot of good information in it. So it's about, it's like it's about 60 four pages and it tells you all sorts of good stuff about your machine it tells you how to do a lot of things it shows you what all the cams do it shows you how to do your your settings and needles just anything you need to know types of foot these funky foots what they're for and all that, so it's definitely worth worth getting, and it's free to download, so you don't have to buy one. You put it in a book just like I did mine. That's about it. Any questions about it, let me know. Bye.